Selecting Live Location will open a full screen map of your general area, with an additional tab down the left hand side. Along the top of this tab is the name of the group services you have opened. Next to this will be a gear icon, which will open the navigator tool, allowing you to open any group of services you are allowed to access. You can use the search for bar to find a group. To choose a group, select its name so it goes red. It will also be stated at the bottom of the tool next to selected group. If you have a hierarchy of groups, groups within groups, where you currently are in the hierarchy will be displayed along the top of the tool with each of the higher levels selectable. The number of groups contained inside a group is displayed in a gray box beneath the heading G for groups, which can be selected to display them. Then select update. Once you click update, all of the group information will be displayed, including all of the services, assets, and points of interest. Select a service, asset, or point of interest, which will highlight it blue, to show its last known location on the map. Select it again to hide it from the map. More than one service, asset, or point of interest can be selected at the same time. Use all to select every service, asset, or point of interest, or none to select none. Select the sort drop box to sort by last report or registration, either ascending or descending. Services will be displayed on the map as their icon. Assets will show as a person icon. Points of interest will appear as a colored outline. Mouse over an icon on the map to bring up their details or select the show label button in the top right hand corner of the screen. The auto zoom toggle button controls the map smart zoom functionality which adjusts the view to display all of the selected services, assets, or points of interest. All of the standard Google Map features are also available, which allow you to manually zoom and pan the map, switch between map and satellite views, enter full screen, and show hide traffic. Next to each service listed on the left-hand side will be an icon of three dots. Selecting this will open the Today tool, which will show the most relevant data from the current calendar day. The available data is dependent upon the hardware installed into the vehicle, but may include items such as distance traveled, time spent in each trip, time spent in idle, fastest speed, fuel efficiency, snail trail, etc. When Tachograph integration is installed, selecting the Taco tab will bring up an infographic illustrating time spent driving, resting, and working. This can be expanded or collapsed using the relevant button. 